Uh, my very first presentation was in front of over 550 people. I got a standing ovation, I got hugs from people. I had one woman tell me that I saved her marriage. And uh, to this day, that was one of the best experiences of my life because she said, my husband was injured. And I, till this day, I never understood what was going on in his brain until you made it so clear. It kind of put a lot of things into perspective seeing Dan Plexman. Dan Plexman's uh, presentation was very inspiring and it was very powerful, very powerful. To just visually see what he's gone through, you can tell that it was very traumatic. And to me, it was relatable because in the workplace, you do see those Swiss cheese scenarios happen. It just alters you. You can't help it. It just pushes you into a direction where you keep health and safety on the forefront. Um, it hit home for me personally. I have a family member of my family who was permanently injured on the job. And I believe that if everyone had Dan's attitude towards rehab, towards coming back to work, towards being involved, people would be a lot better off in their long term. I think because it's so closely relatable to what I do as well, it's like, you know, he, he, the way he talks about the way he was before is kind of how you picture yourself as a tradesman. I mean, you're, you're out there, you want to get the job done, you want to do good work, you want to do right by your employers, you want to make everything happen. Uh, what really spoke to me about him was his after the accident. I think that his story and recovery and what he's doing now is inspirational. I just want people to know how much I appreciate life how much this accident has changed me. It's changed me physically, but it's changed my heart, it's changed my mind, and now I'm open. I embrace life, I embrace people. And that's Dan Plexman's story, and that's why we all do that, so we can go home and continue our lives the way that we want to.